As the movie opens, we're introduced to a man who calls himself Hikikomori. Hikikomoris are extreme introverts who have self-isolated from the rest of the world, and they rarely leave their homes, if at all, and create their own little world inside their homes. The scene opens with Hikikomori sitting on the toilet, playing with the toilet roll, and he explains to us that he spends hours in the toilet, and he even sleeps while on the toilet. He's unashamed about his situation, and there is no one to judge him. He always leaves his bathroom door open, as it gives him confidence, and he tells us that he comes up with his best ideas on it as well. Hikikomori has one TV in his home, but he's never opened it. TV becomes boring very fast, so he keeps himself busy by organizing all his supplies and reading hundreds of books. His favorite books are all adventures, but ironically, he never dares to leave his home. He's lived like this for the last 10 years, and he's able to do this because of his father's money. Every month he is sent money from his father, which covers everything from rent to food. For the first year, there was a note with the money, but for the last 9 years, only the money appears through the mail. Hikikomori doesn't need to leave his home because everything can be delivered, and he has one phone in his home and he uses it to order everything he needs. He doesn't even like to see people, so when he gets delivery, he accepts the package and gives the money without even looking up, seeing their face. Before he became like this, Hikikomori had a normal life. He also had a normal job, but Hikikomori hated everything about it, and he hated contact with people, he hated the traffic, and the long work hours. He also hated the heat, and he'd been able to avoid the sun touching his skin for the last 10 years. But he does like to watch the sunlight, and one of his favorite activities is actually watching the sun that comes through his window until it disappears. Hikikomori keeps time, but it seems quite redundant, with all his days and nights blending together, and he counts the seconds with the watch on his wall to pass time, and then goes to his toilet to sleep. He tells us that he has his best dream on it, so he had never used his bed in years. About a year later, we see his life hasn't changed a bit. His routines are the same, including his pizza time, and he always orders pizza on Saturdays, and then saves the boxes and stacks them perfectly to create a wall. And on this day, it was Saturday and his doorbell rings. When he opens the door, he hears a woman's voice. Today's delivery person is apparently a woman, which is different from usual. He takes the pizza without looking at her, but as he gives her the money, he accidentally looks at her thighs. Hikikomori then looks up for the first time in 11 years, but at that moment, a minor earthquake erupts, causing his house to fully shake, and the earthquake stops after a few seconds, but the delivery girl faints and falls into his house. Hikikomori was shocked and didn't know what to do, and he tries to talk to her, but she doesn't respond, so he tries different methods like spraying her with water to wake her up, but that doesn't work either. He then leaves her for a few minutes as he decides to just ignore her, but he couldn't feel safe, so he decides to wake her up for one last time. He gets closer to her and notices tattoos on her arms, and her tattoos were like buttons and they had all different functions. They were buttons for love, fear, sadness, hysteria, and a headache, and Hikikomori then sees a tattoo for a power button on her thigh. He hesitantly presses it, and then the girl immediately wakes up. She asks him if he pressed the power-up button, and he answers yes, and the girl then stays quiet for a few seconds before complimenting his pizza box tower, and she then points out that one of these boxes were not put properly, and he immediately fixes it. The girl then looks around his house, and she was quite impressed, and she then smells her helmet, and says that it's disgusting, and then gets back on her bike and leaves. Over the next few days, Hikikomori couldn't stop thinking about the girl. He was smitten about her, and all his thoughts were about her, and his routines get disrupted. He couldn't eat or sleep, or even his toilet time was disrupted. On a rainy day, he decides to talk to her, and for the first time, orders pizza before Saturday. Minutes later, he hears someone was on the door, and he opens it, but the delivery person was an older guy. The delivery guy hands him the pizza and enters his home to escape the rain, and he then uses Hikikomori's phone to call an employee, who appears apparently decided to quit while on the job. The guy argues with the employee, but to no avail, and Hikikomori then nervously watches the guy and gives him a glass of water to calm him down, and he then asks him if that day was the delivery girl's off day. 
The guy then informs him, unfortunately, that the girl quit a few days ago and she said that she was also never leaving her home and he hasn't seen her ever since. The guy was frustrated that no one wants to work and that everybody's addicted to technology and that they've lost human contact. As the guy leaves, Hikikomori asks him the location of the girl's home and the guy tells him the general area. That night, Hikikomori contemplates what he should do and he knows that the only way he could see her is to find her, but he's an introvert that can't leave his home, so technically speaking, he's kind of stuck. After another sleepless night, he decides to leave for one day and see the girl and he gets out his unworn shoes that had become a spider's nest and he blows off the dust and wears them. He then opens his front door fully and peeks to the outside and then gives himself some self-motivation but suddenly all his fears kick in and he couldn't push himself to go out so he stands on the door for the rest of the day unable to move. He spends the night at the door, deciding on what to do, and when the next morning comes, his need for the girl has grown much more stronger than his fear of going outside, and he finally manages to take a step and leave his home. The sunlight was blinding for Hikikomori, but the fresh air was great. Hikikomori calculates which way was the girl's address and thinks of which transportation method he should take, and he decides to take a train and starts walking, but when he remembers how many people could be in it, he decides against it and turns around to take a bus, but then again, that also kind of freaks him out. He was then back to the front of his house when he remembers that he actually had a bike stashed in the back. He then goes and grabs his bike but it didn't work as it was fully rusted and covered with plants. With no choice, Hikikomori decides to go on foot and he then starts to run and he runs through his neighborhood and he notices that there's also nobody else and the area is clear and there's also no traffic. He then gets to the main road and there was nobody else there too and it's all just empty. And here he realizes that what he feared most didn't really exist. I mean, what happened to all the people that he wondered about? Here we see cars all rusty and plants growing on them as they haven't been driven in years. Hikikomori then finds the only moving thing, which is a robot carrying a pizza. And the robot then turns and smiles before continuing his journey. And it is here that Hikikomori realizes that everyone has become like him. In this world, technology has become so advanced that human beings are no longer needed for the world to function. Human contact had also been replaced with technology, and humans have become house pets and they never dare to leave their comfortable houses. There are some humans still roaming around, like the delivery guy, but most people have become complacent and given up. Robots have taken all the jobs and they feed and entertain humans. Hikikomori reaches the delivery girl's neighborhood and he starts looking through the windows of people to find her. As he walks through the neighborhood, he starts noticing how people spend their lives. Some of them are exactly like him, living life with an exact routine and keeping everything perfect, but he also sees people that are new still trying to find entertainment through TV. He then sees a woman that had been living isolated for the last 15 years and he sees nothing in her eyes as she doesn't experience neither joy nor sadness and everything in her life is just so dull and this was a good peek into the life that he will be living in a few years and it kind of scares him. He then continues down the road and sees the delivery girl adding another tattoo on her arm and he says hi to her but she immediately closes her window when she sees him. He then rushes to her door and begs her to open it but she doesn't answer. Suddenly another earthquake begins and this time it was a lot stronger, so strong that it even scares all the people living in the neighborhood and they all run out of their homes. Hikikomori calls for the girl but she still doesn't leave her house and the earthquake continues and we see everyone in panic and people run away from the buildings fearing that it will collapse and things start falling out of the sky and a bike almost hits someone. Suddenly the earthquake stops and everyone starts returning to their homes and the street clears out in a second and everything is quiet again. Hikikomori turns to the sound of the girl as she was standing behind him wearing her helmet and after she sees that he's okay she also starts going back to her house but he rushes to her and grabs her arm and begs her not to go back and explains to her that she won't ever come out if she decides to go in but she fights him off and starts walking inside. But just as she gets inside her house he grabs her again and this time he presses the love button and they both quickly look into each other's eyes as a strong wind blows on them and another earthquake begins and the movie ends.